have no rhythmic style that you can say, oh, that sounds like Hendrix, you know, that sounds like this, that's bluesy, that's reggae, that's... I just subtracted the whole thing, and I thought, what if that rhythm section got so stream of consciousness that when the guitar came in on, on top of it, I wouldn't have to be bluesy because there was a bluesy organ part right there, or I didn't have to push uh, the timing because there's another rhythm section component that's pushing the timing. I don't necessarily have to lay back. I can go in the pocket, ahead, I can do whatever I want because I'm free. And it was a really weird concept the very first time I started playing over it because it went against w how I learned how to play guitar, which is try to fit in. Somebody in the band plays something cool, you sort of echo it back, you know, it's sort of a give and take. So not only was I thinking about all these different things harmonically, the reverse pitch axis, but I thought, now this is a new way of looking at how I'm going to lay an instrumental guitar melody and solo on top of this thing. And I'm, I'm going to sort of take a big step away from all these things that I've thought about before and I'm going to try something different. And it was awkward at first. And, and the sad thing is, is that the very first most awkward moment was recorded and that's what's on the record. So, so I've basically been working on it ever since then. All right, this is called Flying in a Blue Dream. Yeah. Woo!